This is the Supreme Court in Washington. Now, we can't get into film because they're actually in session. But what I wanted to show you is a freeze, which is in the room where the Chief Justices actually sit and dispense justice. This freeze pays homage to the ideas and principles that have inspired the American legal system. And one of the foundation documents represented in this freeze is the Quran. And in the nation's capital, there are a few other references to Islam, largely unknown, rarely seen. The Thomas Jefferson Building contains the Library of Congress, the oldest cultural institution in Washington, which was completed in the 19th century. Around the dome of the reading room is a mural meant to represent the nations and ideas that contributed most to American civilization. And it might come as a surprise to historians that amongst the ideas represented here is Islam. Beneath this great mural, I'm meeting Congressman Keith Ellison, who I came across at the start of my journey in Minneapolis. So, Keith, tell me about when you took your oath of office, because it was on a copy of the Quran, and not just any copy. Well, in fact, it was on this Quran that we have right here before us. And, uh, you know, in fact, uh, this Quran, which is a two-volume set, mm -hmm. has the initials uh, TJ inscribed right here. Thomas Jefferson. And so, you know, we, we said this What was is your a, reaction when you found out that one of the founding fathers had his own copy of the Quran? Right, I was gobsmacked. 